Yo, Novatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Maybe you're shopping FXRT fairings. Maybe you're wondering, hey, I saw one that had this. Maybe you saw something that, I, you know, I had the, uh, what are they called, uh, glove compartment. Uh, you saw one that was open on the back. Maybe you're looking at them and you're wondering what's a what's a vented versus a non-vented. Which one's an open back versus a closed back? Sometimes um, the websites they don't fully explain which one has what or what are the benefits and what are the options. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead and break it down. All right. So of course you guys are seeing the Facebook group that I'm in. This is FXRT Fairings and Info. A good uh. A good group to kind of you know look at what people have if you have questions these guys have pretty much have experience with just about all the different available manufacturers options that that are out there uh, you guys know I purchased a dominator FXRT fairing I have plenty of videos into it if you guys want to look at those videos you, you guys can and then I'll, I'll touch upon dominator in this video as well so uh, like I said this is a FXRT fairings and info group page they sell fairings some of them uh, share their own experience some of them have complaints you guys could find just about anything on here some of the manufacturers are actually in this group so if, if you have a question or you're dealing with somebody some of the manufacturers that I'm going to be talking about in the video are actually in this group so here's the Facebook group if you're wondering all right now let's get into some of the options let's go ahead and click on this first one we have something that's coming soon it's not available but this is a carbon fiber option and look at that price i, I mean this could be too good to be true but um you know ghost composites they're offering an fxrt carbon fiber for 1350 i doubt this includes the bracket but if it if it includes the bracket that is very impressive but uh uh, universal fitment using appropriate FXRT mounting bracket and hardware for your application. So, like I mentioned, I don't know if this includes the mounting. I doubt it. But for $1,350, that's a pretty good price. So these guys also, if you look at the products, they also offer, check this out, an ST uh, fairing as well. So that is pretty good you know 1450 carbon fiber so if you have the uh, lowrider st and you want to swap that outer shell or the outer fairing then this is the option right here they also have of course the road glide fairing now all of this says coming soon all of this coming soon i'm not too sure but uh, these guys look legit don't hold me you know account for anything you do your own research like i said this is just me going over uh some of the manufacturers out there some of the options i don't have first-hand experience with any of these except for dominator uh motorcycles of course so let's go ahead and move on to the next one we have samsung custom now i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right samsung customs but he this guy he's in the facebook group you can ask him questions about his frame but we have a few different options right here and you know like i mentioned some of these are going to have some some plus some cons but for the most part this video is just talking about the options and what some of these manufacturers have to offer so let's go ahead and look at what we have here we have multimedia you might be wondering what that is i'm going to show you what that is in a bit we have multimedia and lowers uh as far as this option so multiple different options raw fxrt with lowers is basically a plain jane uh fairing with the lowers and then the multimedia, I'm going to show you what that is right now. So the multimedia is this. So this is actually posted by, you can see right here on the on the top right, Art Samsung. So this is the fella that, uh, that produces these, or he's the owner, I'm not too sure. But uh, multimedia would have this type of cutout. And uh, what you see here, so we have the speaker pods, sorry, the, the speaker grills. And you also have a LCD uh, display infotainment system sort of sort of type deal so you can see that he has a, uh, a harley battery connected there and this is what you would call a closed back fairing so open vents you can see the vents are open and then this is a closed back with your uh, speaker your speaker cutouts and your uh, media cutout i believe the media is already cut out so that's what the uh the uh the multimedia right here that's what that is so you have the, uh, just the fairing and then of course you have the option to get the lowers 
as well. So let's move on to the next one. Let's try not to uh, spend too much time on one one on one manufacturer. So here we have Villain to Hero. As far as paint options, primer, raw, they're also going to be offering uh, paint matching offers, uh, paint match uh, options. They have, uh, just looking at the description, of course, they might be offering the gunship and the white sand pearl. So uh, these guys, I mean, for the price, it's very impressive what they're offering. So you have the raw FXRT fairing for, you know, $1,279. And then if you were to get it color matched, look at that. It's only an extra 200 bucks. Now, this is very nice. Sold out. They're, I mean, these were in stock. They actually redesigned their uh, the website. This, this wasn't blue the last time I checked. And now that I checked in uh, recently today, it looks like they, they changed a couple things. I don't like the, the color of the website. But anyways, regardless, uh, they're offering, of course the gloss black for only an extra 200 bucks and that is impressive mainly because if you were to get this prepped and painted with anybody else uh you're looking at about you know 700 to 1500 dollars just to get that done so for you to kind of get a finished product like i said i don't know uh i haven't dealt with these guys i, I don't know the end product but uh you know just based off of gloss black you would think it'd be a finished product and if it is a finished product it's prepped painted and ready for install man for only an extra 200 bucks that is well worth the money so villain to hero like i said another option you guys can take a look at them uh you know check them out on their social media but uh i don't know as far as you can see right here this is an open back is this an open back i can't really see it maybe i could zoom in this looks like it's an open back on the on the rear of the fairing. So I uh, all right. So looking at the photos, I can't really seem to find anything that gives me a better idea. But from this image right here, it looks like it is a open back fairing design. Uh, this could be just the FXR option. I'm not entirely sure, but if that might be a problem, then look at. Uh, Look at contacting them, asking them, hey, is this an open back or close back uh, fairing? So like I said, uh, the color option, the color match, you can see it right here. They're going to be offering uh, the painted gunship gray and the white sand pearl match uh, for $14.99, which is very, very, very good. So that that's a solid deal. You don't have to prep it. You don't have to do paint it. You don't have to spend money on, on any of that. That's, you know, you're saving in the long run, you're saving yourself potentially 700 to 1500 bucks uh off of the the paint job so you know that's that's pretty good in, in my opinion that's that's a that's a solid deal so let's move on to the next one already spent way too much time on this one all right so here we have big bear performance of course they have some some shady history i'm not going to go over that in this video but um they have of course the fxrt fairing and this one seems to be about you know the highest out of all the options but you do get, uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here. You do get that compartment, that glove compartment on this fairing. So it's not really quite the same as the other ones. You guys can look at the overall design. This one's very close with the uh, with the deviant uh, option fairing. And we're going to you know be looking at that next. But you do have, of course, a wider FXRT fairing with this one. This one fits on the Fat Bobs and on the Dinas. So like I said, this one's going to be a little bit wider than your typical uh fxrt friend but uh here you, of course you can see it's on a on a road king so looks really nice of course um like i said high detail this does seem to be uh an issue with some of the fairings you can see the gap with the with the clockworks or with the windshield doesn't really fully meet the edge so you know that could be something that you're not into but for the most part even the deviant i'm sorry even the uh the dominator fairing has this issue with the clockworks um uh windshield so you know what not a big deal in my opinion but yes there are uh, some of the uh some of the windshields are not going to fit entirely uh snug with the uh with the fairing so you have this and like i said uh these guys are the ones that offer the glove compartment on the on the fairing so you guys can also look at the back of the the fairing this is of course the big bear performance so let's move on to the next one which comes to the deviant 
like I said, this one by far seems to be uh, the worst on, um, I guess, the quality, the mounting bracket. You know, like I said, I don't have firsthand experience with any of these. I want to repeat that. But based off of the Facebook group, this seems to be about like the worst one uh, out there. So I don't know what's going on. Something about the, the mounting system's not that great. And then I guess the quality of the fairing. And uh, supposedly there's been a few that uh, that they've actually had some, some, some cracking or some breaking or something like that. But this is fiberglass. Harley's vibrate. So I don't know. So I'm just sharing, of course, I'm just sharing the options. And you guys can see uh, this one has that same kind of look, the same design as the, uh, the Big Bear Performance and uh looks like the vents are closed on this so that might be something that that you don't like but like i mentioned you could also get the uh the, the pods on this one so this this is the the light pods with for the soft tail so you can see it's two thousand one hundred dollars so this includes you know this gives you quite a bit you you get the the fairing you get the uh the light pods and you get the lower so you get pretty much everything that you see here it's included you get the bracket and like i mentioned you also get the the uh, the glove compartments on this one and then you have uh you know just that overall fxrp style on the top massive a lot of room for for speakers media you can do all kinds of stuff with this one so let's move on to the next one over here now this is a picture taken from somebody in the facebook group and this is where i just kind of mentioned you have plenty of room for uh for speakers and you can see he has four speakers on this one and it looks like he has some kind of a of a of a digital media device right here cut out kind of like you know your, your vehicle so he has quite a bit of stuff on this one so let's move on to the next option here we have toll uh this is a, i guess this is top of the of the line designs i guess that's what that stands for but um, you can see on this one it's slightly different not your typical fxrt fairing it's got a little bit of a vent design on the top so that might be something that you're looking at and of course you also notice that uh, this one does have a different headlight windshield cover let's look at the back of, of the of the fairing you can see it is significantly different from the other ones this does have the cutout for your speakers so looking at the uh, this fairing you guys can decide do you guys like this little modern touch this little scoop here that you have of course it's a closed back you have open vents on this one and then on top of that of course you also have another option right here which is a wide touring uh fxrt fairing design so it's got that same of course attention to detail you can see the massive cutouts for the speakers and then you still have that little scoop on the top on, on, the, on the top of the fairing just to kind of like i said you know just to kind of modernize it a little bit more so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the back of this one you can see like i mentioned uh you know that's some pretty good uh, support uh, you know that's what it's it's pretty good i'm just saying uh you know the build wise everything about it and the speakers are actually tilted towards the rider they're not straight uh back they're a little bit like i said pointed upwards and uh as far as structure this looks pretty solid you know just just my two cents so let's not waste too much time and like i said this is toll toll designs uh top of the line designs tol uh fxrt fairing now the w is for wide now this is of course for the bikes if you have a wide front end uh then this this would probably be the one you're looking at so there's that all right let's move on to the next one now this one of course you guys have seen in a lot of facebook no sorry you guys have seen this one and in, in a late loss uh channel so this is rwd they've been making these fairings for some time i believe norcal he has a rwd fairing so there's that of course they also offer different options just like all the other guys and then you have the uh the lowrider s you have the bracket a lot of good stuff you know a lot of good stuff from these guys uh, I don't know if they've uh, updated anything as far as the cutout. It looks like they did, but early videos of Late Laws channel, they did have to modify this cutout of the uh, of the fairing. But you can see that uh, that it has open vents, and I believe it's a close back design from uh, from uh, RWD. They also make 
different uh, fairing options, but you guys can see uh, they've been around. So this is one of the ones that are kind of like up there as far as customer service and quality. Like I said, it's going to be JD Customs, Dominator, uh, Motorcycles, and RWD. These are these are probably like I said the fan favorites in the uh, in the Facebook group. So let's move on over to the next one. Now we have JD Customs. This one, like I said, this one seems to be the favorite of all the options out there. And I just wanted to show you guys the different options here. You have the vented design, which is your typical FXRT fairing, and then you have the no vented. This one, in my opinion, looks hideous. But there are a few folks with this fairing. I just don't know about this. I mean, look at that. It's just looks completely different you need to have that vented uh option so and you know in case you're wondering what you know what's vented non vented so this is pretty much what it looks like you can see it's not uh it, it doesn't look good on the eyes so we have a couple different options from here from uh from jd customs they have multiple different accessories for the fxrt but i'm not going to go over it just wanted to go over a little bit you have an eight inch smoked windshield that might be something that you want and then you have an 11 inch smoked windshield of course the no vent which I, I don't think anybody should get but you, of course you have the vented 11 inch and it's smoked so if you're you know trying to get it uh trying to get a windshield that's already smoked out and you don't want to of course spend an extra 250 dollars on a on a clockworks then you know you could potentially you know save yourself a couple bucks uh 200 and, or some on dollars and get yourself a vented windshield or get yourself an 11 inch windshield like you see on this one so moving on to the next one now of course like i said this is jd customs now this is the open back and what the open back fairing is it's just it's your it's your classic fxr style fairing so let's go ahead and let me let me zoom in you can see you can't really see it in this image but you can see that there is no lower piece of the fxr fairing of the fxrt fairing so this is what an open back is and it might be a little bit lighter. I don't know. I really like the look of the closed back. That's just me. But the open back, let me just show you what, you know, the difference. So this is, of course, the closed back. All right. You see there's fiberglass on the back and it's closed. So we look at the one on the right and you can see it's open. So this is the open back. Uh, and this is basically your classic FXRT fairing. This is the way that we're shipped on the uh, on the fxr uh back in 1980 89 88 i can't remember on the sport glide but this is you know what the open back is you don't have this this close back so that's you know the difference between vented non-vented open back close back so now you guys know all right so here we have the dominator motorcycles fxrt these guys are located in the in the netherlands sorry so here we have the uh, fiberglass with the carbon fiber mixture. This is the reason why I went with these guys. And let me just show you guys the windshield. Of course, you can see it's got that cutout uh, right here. So it's got a nice little cutout where you don't have to, like I said, relocate your turn signals depending on how tall your, your handlebars are. So let me go ahead and just find another image down over here. You can't really see them, I guess, from this angle, but you can see that there is a little bit of a carbon fiber. So like I said, the carbon fiber is along the outer edge of the of the whole fairing. So there's that. And let me just show you guys right here. You have uh, the lowers, the mounting, the headlight cover. Uh, everything's made, like I said, right here, you can see it. Everything's made with fiberglass and you have a carbon fiber inlay. So, you know, just quality wise, I believe it's really nice. It's really good. And then if you were to look at the, at the, at the products, they have of course, I have these on my on my bike. You have the uh, the vented uh, screen, the, the the screen brackets, and then you also have, of course, the carbon fiber option. So they have plenty of different options here. You can see, and as far as you know, shipping from uh, international or shipping from the Netherlands, it was very quick. So there's that, and of course, you, they also have uh, the the bracket for the LP6 now. Looking at the Facebook group, I noticed that some of these brackets aren't uh, designed properly. A few folks in the Facebook group were complaining about a bracket that that didn't fit with the uh, with the headlight cover. This one works, and I believe there was another one. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I it might be Cali Raised. I believe Cali Raised probably makes this bracket, and and it seems like it works. So 
that's another reason why I went with uh, Dominator because of course the bracket you can see right here this is the one I got uh, yeah I, I got the bracket and then I got the uh, I also got the bracket for the for the uh, for the s the s2s you no know, the s1s and then of course the windshield and the carbon fiber so you guys saw the price on this one they have different options you, you know same thing like most of them you have the fxr the dyna and the soft tail now i hope they redesign uh the lower bracket on on the lowrider s that seems to be a, a common issue of course uh you know it seems to be a common issue across a lot of different uh, people in the Facebook group. The lower bracket, if you guys saw Writing Dad's video, I already went over all that stuff. I'm not going to go over it in this video because this video is already too long. But I have a whole video. It's about almost 30 minutes on everything you need to know about the, the Dominator uh, fairing. All right, on to the next one. Uh, this video is running long. So now we have uh, Elite FXRP FXRT lower bracket. Now I wanted to feature this one only because of course you have the option of getting these audio lowers. So they have the cutout, they have the support so you can install uh, some, some speakers. All right. So here, there's another image right here. You can see this is the Plex. Uh, sorry. This is the, the Rockford Fosgate five and a half, five and a quarter. Sorry. Speaker cutout. You can see that right there. So if you're wondering, Hey, um, you know, maybe I want a little bit more, more audio, a little bit more options and you're looking for the lowers here it is. All right. So ready to paint color match. They also offer a color match option. And then you could either, you know, select standard lowers or audio lower and the audio lower would just be, you know, they have a little bit more fiberglass. They have the support. And of course they have the cutout for that so mine of course on my fxr t fairing my lowers they're open they don't have the uh, the audio uh, option on these so if you're on the market and you're looking for lowers with the cutout so you could put some 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 sound in them you would have to go to um elite uh elite manufacturer so there's pretty much it let's go ahead and look at of course amazon all right so here we have amazon this is tcmt uh, of course, these are you know these are made in China. I don't know about the other you know manufacturers. I don't know where they make their fairings, but I know TCMT they make theirs in China. I have T I have TCMT parts on my Lowrider S. I have the the crash bar. I I have the uh, the passenger foot pegs, so I, I am familiar with their product. They also make seats, all kinds of different things. I don't want to get into it, but uh, yes, you can see now as far as the price. You know it's 839 bucks with everything you see here that is very good as far as you know you know trying to save a couple of dollars there's a lot of people in the facebook group that have this fairing so they do have a lot of good things to say as far as you know me looking at it just based off of the images because like i said i don't have hands-on experience with this stuff uh it's an open vent closed back design you can see that here uh, it looks like they have a tinted windshield. So, you know, that's another thing that you might be looking into. Or, you know, maybe you want a tinted windshield. They have it here. And uh, as far as, of course, the price, this seems, you know, this is by far the cheapest, cheap, you know, the cheapest one out there. And as far as, you know, prep and the way it ships, it looks like it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a primer, primer design. So you can see the windshield doesn't have... A gasket around it uh, on the headlight I'm sorry on the headlight you, you can see that that it's just open so you might have to maybe you know get some molding or some edge molding or something some edge trim uh, and, and do that yourself maybe but uh, of course you can see uh, from the images they also have a social media uh, on Instagram you could go ahead and reach out to them and ask them any questions but uh, this, you know, for 839 bucks, a lot of the people in the Facebook group are very happy with this option. So I'm just going to put that out there. TCMT. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a gasket right there. So that might be for the, uh, you know, for the wind, for the headlight cover for this. So maybe they do provide it. All right. So in case you're wondering, that's, you know, that's one thing that I pointed out. Uh, it looks like that is that is provided and you, and you have to just put that on yourself. But uh, you can see the back of this. I can't really tell of what kind of fiberglass that is. But hey, like I said, a lot of people in the Facebook group have a lot of positive things to say about this one. So let's move on to the other one that you've probably seen on my 
YouTube channel and I've reached out to them. They mentioned that this was going to be available early last year. Now it's 2023. We don't know when we're going to see this uh, fairing, but this is a Rolling Sands design uh, uh, bike build. So Settleman, I guess they're still working on this. Uh, somebody else also on Instagram, I saw they have this fairing. So this is a mini FXRT fairing. So if you're you know out there, or depending when you see this video, this might be available. But as of right now, March 2023, this is still not available to the public. But this is a, a mini FXRT fairing. And then of course you can see my video, my video right here, uh, mini FXR fairing. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, leave your comments down below. Uh, these are the options available as far as FXRT fairings. And like I said, uh, build quality, customer service. Uh, I would say JD Custom seems to be a fan favorite. So, you know, just stay out there. Stay safe. <laughs> and don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.